Ah, yes, the farming RPG. The pacing is just a little different than other games. You get the picture. And a lot of people play them for their relaxing and slow-paced farming mechanics. But despite the genre name, a huge part of playing these games is pursuing relationships, both romantic and non-romantic. But mostly romantic, let's be honest here. Players get very attached to characters from these games. Despite having just a few pages of dialogue and a handful of expressions, people form attachments akin to that of a character from a novel or a long-format TV show. Why is that? Well, I posit that part of the secret is that slow, heavily user-driven pacing I mentioned. Here's what I mean by that. All media lies on a spectrum between author-driven, like a movie, in which you can only experience the content at the pace and in the order that the creator prescribed, and user-driven, like Breath of the Wild, in which you can take the content at whatever pace and in whatever order you decide. This idea comes from a Stanford paper on different types of infographics, link in the description. But it can be applied to anything from books to music. Harvest Moon is an early example of a more user-driven piece of media before open-world games were common or possible. Why is this important for a character-driven narrative? The delivery is often slow, and changes to relationships require time and investment. Remember the last sweetie you courted in a Harvest Moon game or in Stardew Valley? You'd have to go back day after day after day. I would argue that this gives you time to grow to care for the character and get greater satisfaction at their declaration of love because of that slower pacing. Like a PG version of a slow burn fanfic. And this actually means that the relationship progresses at a much more realistic pace than a lot of forms of media. In movies, for example, couples often only get a handful of scenes and a paltry amount of dialogue between meeting for the first time and... uh... coupling up. This isn't necessarily because the movie is badly written. It would just be boring to watch a character in the early stages of infatuation, staring at the wall thinking about how cute the object of their affection is. And often, there's other stuff going on that the movie is busy showing you. More splashy, exciting stuff. The reason rom-coms, movies solely focused on the evolution of a romantic relationship, had to introduce so much unhealthy friction was because it would be boring to sit there and watch a happy, mutually supportive relationship slowly evolve, you know, without other stuff to do. In farming RPGs, you do have other stuff to do. That's the other part of the secret. These games let the audience get little tastes of interaction among the other activities they have to do that day, which is much closer to how you'd interact with a real human. Without limiters, you get a The Sims effect, where you can have two characters meet in the morning, and then they're getting married by dinner time, and they feel more like toys than characters as a result. The pacing limitation allows character growth and relationship growth to be slow and incremental while still being entertaining. After all, no one in real life changes their worldview with a neatly packaged line of, I learned a difficult lesson about myself, of which now I'm totally conscious and articulate. And, if it's a romantic plot, I love you. It's more, after getting comfortable around you, I'm more willing to be vulnerable with you. Or, you gain my trust and encourage my sweeter side. Now, I think this special narrative pacing could be better utilized for more complex and emotional stories. That's what we hope to accomplish with our game, Veil of Dust, a homesteading game. Instead of giving each sweet thing a couple dozen lines pertaining to the romance, you'll be able to explore the character and advance the relationship with much longer storylines. The link is in the description. Check it out and wishlist on Steam or watch the highlight reel of the gameplay so far. The demo is coming soon. Thanks for watching.